As Libra Revision is Whisper Games and Queso's newest release onto the Nintendo Switch, and it's easily one of the most surprising games we've seen hit the eShop in many months. Widely considered to be a Steam indie darling, after almost a decade in production by just one developer, As Libra Revision launched on Steam to a wide praise for good reason. It mixes Metroidvania ideas with what some may consider Final Fantasy roots, but to me they feel more closer to the E's early releases that ultimately present a side-scrolling 2D RPG at its finest. While the story may not be much to write home about at the start, what I can mention is that the protagonist's home is basically attacked by demons and his childhood friend goes missing. That's more than enough of a reason to journey forth and see what the world has to offer. Since each map is ultimately segmented off, you'll be venturing out from town to dispose of a myriad of threats engulfing the world in terror. It certainly takes its time to introduce major aspects of the story, and you'll always get that feeling that everything has something of a double meaning, suggesting something more sinister behind each major plot point, which is enough to keep veteran RPG players hooked. Gameplay is just as you would have expected by just looking at it, simple yet complex at the same time, with plenty of trial and error to build and sink your teeth in. Essentially, you have a basic combo with the ability to spin out of that to do jump attacks, dashes, blocks, and plenty of specials. At first glance, it may seem a bit too chaotic and for sure that it can be if you rush into things. It feels more like such an old school game at heart that it forces you to take a step back for a second and reconsider your approach. It's no Dark Souls, mind you, but considering how you tackle a mesh of enemies and coming out victorious feels satisfying and fun at the end of the day. There are multiple difficulties which you can swap into instantly, so if you're having a bit of a tough time in one specific area, you can adjust that so the enemy's difficulty is a little bit easier and you can tackle them a little bit better. Due to how linear everything is, exploration is kept to a minimum but because there's so many areas to explore, it doesn't feel limited by any means. Obviously, the visual look is something that will either entice some players or clearly deter them from ever trying out this game, and that's clearly understandable. Due to the pixel art look, everything stands out. While fighting big bosses or even just big monsters in general, sections of their bodies will be highlighted as you do damage or they attack you, so you can clearly see what it is that you're affecting. Your attacks have a flair for the bombastics and skill are parts of summons that can basically flood the screen with effects and they look great. But this of course comes with some performance costs, especially on the Nintendo Switch. I played an overwhelming majority of my time with this game on the Nintendo Switch Lite and I will admit that the text can be a bit of an issue there. That's not to say that the OLED is all that much better, mind you, but at the end of the day, whenever you're messing with menus here and there, it feels like the UI implementations could have done could have been done a bit better. While not fully cumbersome, they do feel antiquated. As Libra Revision is a game that unwavers after picking a lane. It's not apologetic about its look or style, and it does a great job presenting a side-scrolling 2D RPG of yesteryears with a new unique twist. While some UI decisions may hinder you from your minute-to-minute -minute experience, there's no denying that once it hooks you, you're in it for the long haul. Nintendo Sphere gives As Libra Revision onto the Nintendo Switch an 8 out of 10. If you're brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up, and as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya!